In this tutorial we will discuss polarography. Let's discuss with definition. Polarography is a type of voltimetry where the working electrode is a dropping mercury electrode, DME, or a static mercury drop electrode, SMDE, which is useful for their wide cathodic ranges and renewable surfaces. Basic Principle of Polarography It is an electrochemical method that is based upon measurement of current as a function of potential applied to the electrode. And potential is applied in the form of voltage and analyte present in the solution will diffuse due to applied voltage. Due to diffusion of the ions, ultimately current flow takes place. And the produced current is known as diffusion current. Instrumentation of Polarography it consists of dropping mercury electrode with diameter of capillary of range 20 to 50 micrometers and droplet time is 2 to 12 second, so 5 to 30 drops per minute can be produced. And the applied potential range is plus 0.4 to minus 1.8 volt. Air such as nitrogen supply will use to eliminate oxygen present in the sample. Supporting electrolytes are used to minimize the migration current and supporting electrolyte concentration will be 50 to 100 times greater than analyte. You can see clearly in the figure, the dropping mercury act as cathode, which is negatively charged and polarizable. And the mercury pools act as anode which is positively charged and non-polarizable. The potential difference between the two electrode will vary continuously and the resulting current flowing through the cell will be measured by sensitive galvanometer. Current produce in polarography. Diffusion current, this current is acquired by the diffusion of the ions from the sample solution to the surface of the electrode. This current is produced generally due to the concentration gradient. And this is generally denoted by ID. Residual current, the current that flows in the absence of the sample material is known as the residual current. This current is produced due to the presence of impurities and this is generally denoted by IR. Migration current, this current is produced due to the migration of the oxidizable or reducible ions which is proportional to the potential gradient. This is because of the proportion of the analyte. This can be removed by the addition of the supporting electrolyte solution. And this is generally denoted by IM. Limiting current, this is the total of the diffusion current and the migration current. This is caused by the depletion of the oxidizable or reducible ions at the electrode surface. In this, the current is steady where the diffusion of ions is equal to the rate of reduction. This is reached by the complete saturation of the electrode. And this is generally denoted by IL. Advantages of Polarography It can be used for estimation of cations and anions in the presence of suitable supporting electrolyte successfully within the range of 10 to the power minus 3 to 10 to the power minus 6 molar concentrations. It is also helpful for structure determination as well as for qualitative and quantitative analysis. Many functional groups such as carbonyl group CO, cyanide group CN, C double bond S and thiol SH group etc. that undergo reduction or oxidation at dropping mercury electrode can also be identified. It can be useful to examine food and food products, biological materials, insecticides, pesticides, etc. It is used to establish the formula of various complexes. Different ions present in a solution can be estimated at the same time by observing their polarographic wave, etc. Applications of Polarography It is used in the determination of the composition of the alloys. It is used in the qualitative and quantitative determination of the elements. It is used in the estimation of the trace metals like zinc, iron, manganese, and copper. And it is used in the determination of the dissolved oxygen in the gases. It is used in the determination of the vitamin C in the food beverages. And it is used in the functional group analysis. It is used in the determination of the local anesthetics. And it is used in the determination of the complex compositions. And it is used in the determination of the free sulfur in petroleum fractions, etc.